The concern has been with COVID spreading in the US that researchers working with bats could spread it back to the animals and decimate important populations. But this new study finds the risk of that is relatively low and goes even lower with proper PPE. The new study found researchers working with East Coast bats had a one in 1,000 chance of spreading COVID to bats with no precautions while doing winter research. And that drops to less than one in 3,300 with PPE. That's important because wildlife managers use bats winter hibernation for various studies of populations that can help inform them on Endangered Species Act decisions or to track white nose syndrome, a deadly disease for bats. USGS says there are some questions about why the risk is low, including if local bats are even a match for the virus. So the question is, is there a spillover risk? Is, it, is there enough of an overlap match to North American bats? Um, the jury's still out on the final answer to that question. There's a lot of ongoing studies but um, the risk seems fairly low at this time. But the issue here is while the risk may be low, the potential consequences of spreading this to bats are high. Washington Fish and Wildlife put a pause on all bat field work last year with so many unknowns about interspecies transmission and asked bat rehabs not to take any in. They've relaxed that now, but added additional PPE and precautions and say the USGS data is good news. Um, so that was also really reassuring to, to see that. Um, and then again, just having this other work, this model they did, um, again, this really helps us feel comfortable um, implementing these new measures when we're handling bats. USGS says they're planning to do further study on the way scientists interact with bats in the summer and whether that raises the risk at all. They're also planning to study whether bats in people's homes can catch the coronavirus. In Seattle, I'm Michael Crow, King 5 News.